Hey guys, it's Javad. It's uh, pretty late on a Saturday night, and uh, I'm in my speaker listening room, and I'm here with the debacles and uh, the pretty persuasions. <clears throat> the whole build thread on those. If you ever haven't seen it, go check it out. But uh, I'm here with the DOS subwoofer, and uh, so the DOS subwoofer has an SB. 10 inch subwoofer on each side and they're back to back and this is called the dual opposed subwoofer that's why i call the dos and um basically the woofer is moving opposite directions and the forces from each woofer cancel out and uh that results in an extremely vibration free cabinet literally like when this thing's cranking you put your hand on it and if you couldn't hear it you'd think it was off um, you kind of have to see it to believe it, but I'm going to try to demonstrate it for you guys here with a little capacitor and a 40 hertz test tone. And so what I have is the, the subwoofer all set up. <clears throat> I've got a precisely chosen 4.7 microfarad capacitor here. And, um, I've got a test tone. So what I'd like to do is... You know, I'm thinking probably the the camera will shake as well. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn one woofer on and off. And so so what, what happens is the bass in the room actually doubles, but the vibration in the cabinet disappears. So let's see if I can uh, do a demonstration here. All right. So I'm starting the, the 40 hertz test zone. Okay, so it's playing right now. And both woofers are playing. So now I just turned one woofer off. Okay. All right, can you see that moving? So I'm going to turn the other woofer back on. So the, the bass in the room was audibly louder and the capacitor just stopped moving. And one more. Just turned it off and back on. So anyways, this is just a, a quick demonstration. Um, you gotta build you gotta build a dual post subwoofer because it's crazy. I've built them before, this isn't my first one, but every time I do it, it's shocking at how much, how stable this cabinet becomes. And uh, I'm gonna do some distortion measurements as well uh, and, and, and show you guys how low the distortion is as well. So anyways, just a quick demo, um, more to come. Thanks guys.